Hey, welcome all my special session campers to Arts and Crafts. Today, we are going to be making wishes. And here is what we're gonna be using in our materials for today. So I've got a paper towel roll here and I've got a toilet paper roll here. So I guess the thing is, is that you can use either one. It doesn't matter. And then on top of that, I've got some white paint and black paint. We have our scissors, some rubber bands, and Q-tips, and toothpicks. There we go. And a bottle cap. This is going to be so much fun. Today, we're making dandelions. Dandelions are like the symbol of life. Little, we, we blow on the, the fluff of the dandelion to make wishes. So I'm hoping that when we're done, you'll have your own dandelion and you can make your own wishes. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take some of my Q-tips and I'm gonna just take a rubber band. And I'm gonna take a few Q-tips and I'm going to put a rubber band around them and create this little thing that we can use later on. So I have my, my, and I'm gonna roll that down to the middle. The nice thing about this is that you can use both sides. So we're gonna make our little there and we're gonna try to make it flat. You'll know, make it as flat as we can and now we're ready there, and we're gonna take our cardboard roll, and we're gonna cut up through our cardboard roll into little strips. And you want to cut the strips about all the same length, and we're gonna go around, and we're gonna cut these, as, you know, and Try to make them the same length, the same width, if you can. There we go. So, how many of you have picked a dandelion and blown on it? And what happens when you do that? The seeds scatter to the winds. And that's what life is. Life is blowing our, our and taking our life and spreading it and creating and bringing happiness to others. So I am almost around, all the way around there. What I wanna do now is I'm going to bend all of my little things out like so. Okay, see, we've created, this is kind of our, our brush for today. Now, what I have done, and, and you can, the same thing you can do with cutting a paper towel holder in half and going around it, cutting our little strips, trying to make them consistent. They don't have to be consistent because that's the beauty of nature. Nothing is perfect. Everything is unique. Just like each one of us are unique individuals and we all are special. And this summer, you are special heroes. We are all special heroes because we take the time to make others feel special and we are we protect others especially when we have 
viruses and colds and coughs and all those things, we try to be very cautious and think about others. There is another one. So we now have two. Having done that, I have a, a canvas and I've gone ahead and painted this canvas with my black. And you just have to coat it really good and then let it dry. So next, we're gonna get some white paint. In my videos for you special campers, I have been using just plain old white house paint because we have so many crafts that we're doing this year. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of white on my plate. And I'm going to set my white aside. There we go. So we've made our Q-tips with our rubber band. We have our Q-tips, we have our toothpicks, and we have made two of these. And don't forget our bottle cap. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna kind of swirl our paint around a little bit. I'm gonna take a Q-tip here because I wanna kind of thin it a little bit out on my plate. There we go there. And I'm going to take my, I'm going to dip it down in the paint, like so. And, and kind of get it like that. Then I'm going to, it's nice to, it's good to have newspaper, is I don't want to have too much paint, so I'm going to just kind of do it right here so I end up not having so much paint. So I'm gonna put one right here, and I'm gonna turn it, and turn it, and turn it. There we go. I'm gonna do another one right here. There. And let's, let's do one more down here. Right there. And just kind of gently tap. Okay, now I'm gonna set that one aside. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna use my other one because it's cut different. It's this one. I kind of got a little bit smaller. See, a little bit smaller here. So I'm going to. Make sure I got my little things covered and I'm doing it on the newspaper so it's not got globs of paint on it. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to go like that. There we go. Oh wow. Isn't that fun? And it and, and it's just there we go. So we've got the start. Then I'm going to take my Q-tips and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just, I don't want to have too much, but I'm going to just lightly just kind of put little dots all around the outside. So I'm going to go around the outside. Like this. There. So, starting to look like Hmm. Not sure. Okay. Now, my bottle cap. I'm gonna take my bottle cap and I'm gonna stick it in the paint. And then I'm going to do the same thing because I don't want too much. And I'm just gonna set it right there. 
and I'm going to put one right here and I'm going to put one right here there so I'm going to take my one little q-tip I'm just going to put a dot in the middle of each one here we go and then It's starting to look kind of like our little thing. So I'm going to use my Q-tip. I'm going to kind of put it in the tape, I mean in the paint right here. And then I'm going to come out from the center and I'm going to use it like you would a little brush. Because it's going to give me that nice little fine line that I want for my dandelions. And you just kind of scrape the, the I'm going to put paint in the center here and then I'm going to just scrape it out. And it doesn't have to be equal, precise, the same. We're just kind of making those little seed stems in our dandelion. And we're going to come up here and we're going to make our little seed lines. Okay, I'm going to take and put a little bit more paint in the center there, a little more paint in the center there, and a little more paint in the center there, so that when I drag it, and if you drag it slowly, you can get these wonderful little lines. And what these lines are, are the little stems from the center of the dragon, the dandelion, from the center of the dandelion. These are what we see when we look down on it. And if you don't blow on it, we're going to want to make some lines all the way out now. Lines all the way out. There we go. So what happens if there's not anybody to blow those seeds around. See, that's that's kind of the trick of life is that things in nature happen that help things keep growing and populating and that's why we have so many da dandelions everywhere you see them in our lawn. It's because they have help. If we're not blowing on them, they have to depend on the wind and the wind blows their seeds around there we go so with the that i'm going to use the other side i'm just going to very softly i don't want too much paint on here and so if the wind is blowing it's it's blowing the dandelions and blowing them out there. There goes our dandelions with the wind. Now we're gonna get we're gonna do some more toothpick painting because we want to make our dandelions and sometimes it's hard to keep the paint on the toothpick but you just have to there there's one and I'm just gonna go over that same line look at the stems they're just very wispy very fine And we're going to do this one right down through here. 
like so. Ooh, I got a lot of paint on that one. Didn't mean to do that, but you know what? I'm just going to use it and go with the flow. Okay. I'm very happy with my my little dandelions. And we can we can add a, a, a few little we go. Just going to use that paint that right there. There we go. So these are our little dandelions. beautiful little dandelions and I hope and wish that all of you are safe and I hope and wish that we will see each other again soon and I hope that you had fun today so anyway blow on your dandelions and make your wishes wishes for past wishes for the future and I will see you next time at Arts and Crafts Camp McDowell Special Session. <laughs>